Hi all, today I am going to discuss about asystole and PEA. PEA is Pulsilus Electrical Activity. Welcome back to Alice Jutek and I am a registered nurse and a healthcare educator here to empower you with life saving skills and practical nursing advice. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more updates from this channel. Okay, we will see what is asystole. It's a cardiac arrest rhythm associated with non-discernible electrical activity on the ECG. It's a non-shockable cardiac arrest rhythm. So what you can see a flat line on the ECG. Asystole the name itself A without and systole is contraction. Without contraction. So without contraction there is no conduction system inside the heart and also due to that heart stop pumping the blood. It's a fatal arrhythmia that can lead to death of the patient. Okay, when you see an asystole on the monitor, the ECG, go and check, immediately check the leads. Maybe the leads are not sticky or the wire is loose. Maybe the defibrillator or ECG machine itself is having some issues. Due to that, a signal gain may be too low, amplitude of the wave. So the first thing is go and check the patient. Okay, once you check the patient, you feel that everything is all right, immediately check the pulse of the patient. If no pulse, no breathing of the patient and unresponsive patient, these are the manifestations of asystole. You can see a normal sinus rhythm is having definite P waves, definite QRS complex, definite T waves. But in an asystole, these all absence. No P wave, no QRS complex, no P wave. There is no PR interval. There is no QRS. So due to that, asystole occurs. These are the manifestations. No pulse. No breathing, unresponsive, there is no definite rhythm, it's a systole. Now we will see what is pulsilus electrical activity. This is also a non shockable cardiac arrest rhythm. Here, what is the difference from a systole is that there is a specific electrical activity, a specific rhythm is there. Either it is normal sinus rhythm, sinus tachycardia or sinus bradycardia. There is a definite rhythm you can see on the monitor or on the defibrillator. Check the pulse immediately and in such case of PEA, there is no definite pulse can be seen or felt. This is the ECG rhythm and there is no pulse. If you check the pulse of the patient, there is no definite pulse can be felt. So that is PEA, pulseless electrical activity. No pulse is here. So the difference between asystole and PEA, everybody understood. Both are non-shockable rhythm. Now we will see what are the causes. The causes. We know in the cardiac arrest algorithm, the causes of cardiac arrest is Hs and Ts. There is 5H and 5Ts. Hypo, maybe it's due to hypothermia or hypo or hyperkalemia, hypoxia, electrolyte imbalance, toxins, cardiac tamponade, tension pneumothorax, pulmonary or coronary thrombosis. These are the causes. The specific treatment for this one, implement cardiac arrest algorithm. That means non-shockable rhythm algorithm has to be implemented. In that, there is CPR, immediate activation of emergency response system. Your local emergency response system has to be activated. The medication management over here is epinephrine 1 mg every 3 to 5 minutes. The rhythm check over here is according to your 
non shockable trigger algorithm follow that one cardiac arrest algorithm has two types of rhythms one is shockable rhythm another one is non shockable rhythms shockable rhythms are vf ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia pulseless ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation if not treated it can go to non shockable rhythms that is systole and pulseless electrical activity so treating of vf is pulseless vt is very important thank you for watching alice educate